Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for joining us. Naturally, I'm out at uh, SHOT Show 2020. Today, we are talking with Kalishnikov USA. Uh, the reason why I wanted to get in here is because they just released their 103, and I wanted to get an opportunity to talk with Evan and allow him to give you guys the once over and uh, let you know what's going on with it. So Evan, thanks, uh, what's going on? Hey, so this is the eagerly anticipated uh, KR-103. We're calling it the Kalashnikov Rifle 103. Uh, it's the exact DNA of an AK-103. This is the 100 series, was the last set of guns that Mikhail Kalashnikov himself oversaw. That's good. Uh, the gun is exactly like an AK-103, like I said, the DNA. People have been waiting for this for about three, four years from right. us. Mm -hmm. So we finally have it, we're taking pre-orders for international customers, okay. as well as by group members, and uh, this is the first iteration of this gun, and we will have a side folding model that will follow in about oh, six months. Outstanding. So in our, it's our own magazines as well. Outstanding. So uh, this is an awesome piece of furniture, as you know, been around a very long time, okay. very reliable weapons platform, okay. and we're very excited to be able to offer this to the U.S. market and international customers. Right on. So uh, I know I'm going to get this question in the comment section, but uh, what kind of uh, steel is going on with the barrel? So it's 4140 steel, chrome line barrel, chrome line. Good. forged trunnion, okay. forge bolt. A right on. Great rifle. All right, outstanding. So and that's something that's been brought up to me before, especially with the AKs, is, you know, hey, is it chrome, is the barrel chrome lined? I know that's a concern for some of you guys that are running corrosive ammo, so this will be chrome lined. It'll help prolong that barrel life. Uh, and get a few extra miles out of it. So, uh, absolutely. Th there's there's just a quick once over on the 103. I've handled it a little bit. I can tell you that uh, small little things like um, small little things like the safety lever on this is extremely smooth. Uh, you know, a lot of people get their AKs, they, they they disassemble it and then have to kind of adjust the uh, safety lever. I know it's a small little thing, but. To me, that's attention to detail, right? So you can just exactly. get your hand up here and boom, Pop it's it right super, down. super easy. Smooth action. Um, yeah, release date again on this, you think? Uh, so we're taking pre-orders for international. Okay. Um, I think your distributors will have this in the late spring. Okay, good. And uh, like I said, for buy group members, we're taking some orders as well. And uh, like I said, this is the only authentic one. Oh, three. Right. Every single part of this is made here in the USA. It's not okay. just made in the USA. Every screw, every rivet, every piece of this gun is made here. Nobody else can claim that. Okay. That's very important. Last question. I know it's going to come up. Price point? Price point MSRP is ten fifty nine. dollars Okay. This gun. All right. So uh, okay. I, think, I think it's going to be on par, and I think uh, I think the market is going to respond to this. I think Absolutely. So, yeah. Very uh, well. Uh, I can tell you that just looking at it, rivets look good. Nothing's, nothing's overpressed, underpressed, canted, nothing like that. Everything looks like it should be right so absolutely thanks a lot, man. Right, thank so, you thanks evan and uh, we've got some more information here real quick on some of the race guns that are coming out so let's check that out okay so i've got mike here with uh dissident arms and uh they are doing a, a collaboration with Kalishnikov, absolutely Kalishnikov usa right. on uh some race guns some uh guns that are going to be kind of higher scale for those guys into the uh, competition world. So, uh, Mike, take it away, what we got? Yeah, and you've alluded to it, these are competition-ready firearms, right. but they can be used for a multitude of purposes. Sure. We have uh, uh, shooters that drive these to the top of uh, uh, shooting competitions worldwide, um, but they also, you can use them to hunt at home, they can use them for potentially uh, self-defense, range time, there's nothing funner than a gun that's been set up correctly to put some rounds down range, right that's on, for right sure. Okay. Um, let's go tip to toe on these two new models. We got the uh, uh, Dissident Arms Comp 12, it's built on the Kalashnikov USA KS-12. So okay. this is their platform with our parts and, and a little bit of tuning by us to make it top performing. We have, I like to go tip to toe guys, we have the Dissident Arms uh, Phoenix Compensator. It's a three port, highly effective muzzle device. Uh, keeps you on target, extremely fast shooting, low recoil. We got a uh, uh, eight-sided octagon extruded aluminum handguard. Oh, wow. It's M-lock based, so everything you see there is M-lock on all the uh, uh, 12, 9, uh, 3, 6 o'clock, all the way around it. And then we also have, um, this is a 12.5 inch uh, extended charging handle mm -hmm. on the right hand side. Uh, our race safety. Oh, this allows nice. you to take the safety off just by basically grabbing the grip, getting your high grip on there. The safety's off. You're on, you're on on the trigger extremely fast. There's yeah. there's absolutely nothing faster, guys. We put the timer on it. Okay. Yeah. Um, nice. um, we have uh, uh, our competition magwell assembly. Um, this does take it a flare on it also, mm -hmm. so it allows you to take a flare on and off. So you can use drums on these. It does convert the mag uh, magazine into a vepper based gun. Okay. Um, so it has a push straight in mags. They drop free 
free from the gun with your strong hand, and it is an ambidextrous mag release. Oh wow! Um, we've uh, internally we've done some action tuning on it, so you're going to feel the difference, yep. and it's going to allow you to get those fast repeated shots that you're looking for. Uh, moving uh, down the line here, we have uh, uh, an aluminum uh, uh, telescopic extension here that allows you to have your favorite carbine uh, stock on there. Right. Uh, in this case, we've used Magpul CTR okay. and a Magpul uh, Mo AK Plus grip. All right. So it's a total package. Uh, uh, one last thing, guys. Optics ready. Yep. So it'll have the Picatinny rail on top. Yep. It's actually had the uh, AK, traditional AK side rail, mm -hmm. shaved from the gun. Yep. Uh, all the proper holes have been filled. You don't have any nylon uh, uh, plugs or any, anything like that. Everything's done absolutely the way it's supposed to be done. Outstanding. That's, um, that's nice. New offering here for 2020, 12 gauge shotgun, Comp 12, guys. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. All right, uh, then you got a PCC here, right? Yes, all we're right. super excited about it. Everybody yeah, knows nice. the PCC market's really hot right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've shot them all. Let's just say that we don't need to call anybody out. I've shot them all. Mm -hmm. This is the most reliable one I've had my hands on. Okay. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. We've shot thousands of rounds through this in competition setting, dropping the mags on the ground, not paying attention to the ammo brand source of any sort, not cleaning our magazines, not one malfunction, guys. Nice. Straight up. Okay. Awesome. Tip to go. Once again, all Kalashnikov USA and Dissonant Arms. We got a. Uh, Brake, nine mil brake on the tip. It is threaded one half by 28, so we can ch change with your fav favorite muzzle device, suppressor ready, threading, so nice. we're, okay. we're all good in that. Uh, we have our 12.5 uh, inch, again, it's the same diameter handguard, M-lock all the way around, extruded material, eight sided. Uh, it is free float. So we have a very special um, adapter, receiver adapter right here, mm -hmm. that has the uh, handguard free float all the way out to the barrel. Nice. So there's no point of aim, point of impact shifts as the barrel heats up. Mm -hmm. If you need to put a barricade mount off yep. of a car yep. door, anything like that, you're not gonna shame, uh, change your point of impact That's on that. It's highly important on uh, carbines and rifles. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, now moving down the line, uh, this uh, uh, is already an optics ready gun with a hinge dust cover. Yep. So this yep. will be ready for you to mount your favorite optic. It does still have uh, a legit iron sight still intact on this particular model and uh, extended charging handle, right hand side. We also still have our uh, safety extension on here. This safety extension is also right, uh, left handed friendly. Mm -hmm. So you can operate it with your left hand and uh, it's super fast on the right hand, yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, they, we also do have our internal action tuning. You will notice the difference, guys. And then super excited about these two items. I'm gonna go and take this off the wall oh, yeah. so you can see about oh, yeah. it. We have our competition uh, Magwell flare. Again, this can be used for any purposes. Don't be afraid when I say the word competition, guys. <laughs> I'm also able to drop the mags from like that. Did you see anything yeah. move, right? Uh, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, all right, here we are. All right, th thumb mag release, guys. So here we are. That's amazing. So you keep the gun mounted, you, magazine drops from the gun, you're already pulling the mag from the belt, putting one in, back on target. Nice. So there's nothing faster, we put the clock on it. Yep. Um, we also do have a still our, uh, car, our carbine uh, buffer tube adapter, and it does allow the gun to still fold uh, pro properly all the way around and nice. back. Right. Um, so we do maintain the folding ability. Carbine stock, again, uh, you'll see Magpul on these particular models. Yeah, okay? outstanding. Yeah, Comp uh, 9, guys. Maybe I didn't say that, but it's a Comp 9. The magazines on these, are these Kalishnikov uh, uh, yeah, USA? Correct, they are the Kalishnikov. Proprietary? Yeah, they are proprietary mags, but don't get scared whenever that's said because uh -huh. uh, they are a U.S sourced magazine sure, this yeah. isn't an imported uh, surplus magazine that we're worried about a supply chain on okay. they're high quality magazines extremely reliable we also do have a plus 10 maybe 12 <laughs> maybe more base <laughs> yeah. pad coming for it guys yeah, yeah. we're in the final stages of the development on that about to go into production so be looking for high capacity magazine uh, ab adaptability to this platform so so yeah. whether you're a competition shooter whether you uh, just like the best of the best mm -hmm. whether you want to fall anywhere in between these these guns actually still do fit within them they will come in uh three different colors black gray and red right now potentially some other things available outstanding yeah. so i know this is kind of a real quick rundown uh not only on the 103 but all the also the uh dissident arms uh new offerings as well so if you guys have questions make sure you hit it up down in the comment section uh if if i if i walk away i see a comment i'll come back and ask him and make sure i get it back to you guys so yeah mike i really appreciate yeah, it thanks for having evan, me, evan thanks so much we're gonna get out of here because we got so much more stuff to do and i uh, appreciate it guys so uh stay tuned more content coming up as always freedom through strength here comes the high five see you guys later bye